Hey, I'm Jonathan Unthank, music director here at The Light FM, and excited to have my good friend Mike Weaver of Big Daddy Weave hanging out. Man, what is going on, my friend? Man, I'm telling you, dude, it's like we're really fisting to get to play music again. I cannot believe this, dude, because it's been, it's been us meeting like this for, gosh, a while now, you know, and it's like you kind of start to get this feeling, is it ever going to happen again, you know, and so I'm so excited to get to have this talk with you that, that we get to go out and play some songs, man. Have you ever done this at a drive-in theater before? Is this like a new, brand new experience? <laughs> none, none other experiences so far, actually. That's, yeah, um, our very first, very first time. And we're really excited to get to get, be doing kind of a handful of these shows. I guess about 30 dates of these shows, uh, drive-in shows, with our very good buddy, Zach Williams. Man, who we, we love him so much, man. We are birds of a feather, you know, and um, it's going to be a reunion out on the road. And it's going to be a reunion with people, man. Just even though we can't like get all up and get all huggy and everything, you know, it's like we're going to be we're going to be smiling so big. It will be like a, a hug, you know, just to be there together in one place and getting to sing these songs to God. Uh, it's going to man, it's going to be an awesome night. Man. Now, September the 11th, you're going to be at Hounds Drive in uh, in Kings Mountain, North Carolina, September the 11th. Um, I'm guessing there's still mosquitoes around that time. You got, you're going to have, you know, you'll be outdoors. Do you, are you allergic to stuff like that? Or you're like, you just have the covering or, you know, you just trust the Lord. <laughs> I've got, I've got worse than, I've got worse than the mosquitoes have. You know what I mean? It's like, so <laughs> when they come in contact with me, it kills them instantly, but it, they still leave the mark though. It's, it's unfortunate. I will just like, I'm going to sweat on them because I will be so, it won't, it won't quite be cool right then either. And so every night, the, probably the humidity, man, you know, for, for big daddies, I'm gonna have to install like some like windshield wipers on my <laughs> glasses and stuff like that. But yeah, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be awesome. Just, we're gonna be so grateful just to, just to be out doing it though, honestly, you know. That's cool. Have, have your, have your kids, well, have they been to a drive-in theater before? Is this like brand new to them too? They have no, they, they have been and they, man, unfortunately they won't get to go on this tour, but gotcha. we have been to drive in because, and we're actually, they're going to get to come to our drive in. We're going to play at our drive in in little Watertown, Tennessee. And so it's like, we're, we're just a town or so over from Watertown. And so we're excited to, uh, for them to get to come out to the show like everybody else. It'll be neat. Cool. Man, that's, that sounds, that sounds like so much fun. Now you mentioned Zach Williams will be there too. I'm sure you guys will be performing together. Maybe, maybe, uh, and you've got a cool story behind, um, you know, some of the songs that you've written, you know, there's stories that he has about your songs and you've kind of done this collaboration thing on a couple of them. Yeah, it, it really was a God thing, you know, cause God used redeemed in his life. And then he wrote the song alive, which was the first single from this last record for us. And so it, it's, it's been a sweet thing. And yeah, we're going to get to kind of have some of those moments where we sing on each other's stuff, which is, which is going to be really cool. It'll be way cooler for us than it will be for him. Honestly, I think it's, I, I mean, he's, he, we just, we love what he's doing right now. He is really just in an awesome place in his music life. And so we're excited to get to, to share this time together with him, man. I saw that you and the family had uh, some downtime, and you uh, you went to the Great Smoky Mountains and just had some uh, had some good hangout time. Uh, the indoor snow tubing, what was that all about, dude? That was it was unbelievable. First of all, from the moment anybody even hints at summer, Big Daddy's be sweating. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like we had visited some friends in North Carolina. We had played uh, near Charlotte over the weekend at one of our favorite churches, the Refuge in Concord. And man, uh, we were on our way back home uh, with just me and the fam. And uh, we kind of stopped through Pigeon Forge and uh, we saw this exhibit. Guys, I had seen it at some point and I was like, we had never done it. And I was like, there's this place called Snow. Look it up on your phone while we're traveling. And so Candace finds out all about it. And we stopped in there, man. We found some Groupons or whatever, you know, <laughs> and stopped in there. And dude, it's just this huge indoor snow area and it's like it's not as cold as winter in there but it was cold enough to keep big daddies from sweating and i was like come on now so man we all went in there and i didn't ride any tubes just because i wanted to have respect for the establishment you know what I mean? <laughs> um but uh but then uh you know man it's just this big hill man with these kind of iced over and snow everywhere and they're riding these tubes down this big hill and my kids were just cracking up they were just loving it 
And so, yeah, it's an indoor kind of snow environment in, in Pigeon Forge, man. It was, it was so much fun. I love stuff like that, man. That's, that's, that's so fun. All these new experiences, you know, in just a couple of weeks, you'll be at Hounds Drive-In in Kings Mountain, North Carolina with the drive-in theater tour and indoor snow tubing. What's next, man? What's 2020 have for us this fall? You know, it's going to be. I know, I know that's what I keep asking. And I like have my fingers crossed and my, my hands folded in prayer. Like, you know, Lord, let's, let's just experience the life, you know, that you, that you're, that you bring. So even in the midst of whatever it looks like that we still would walk in that kind of life, that we walk in the joy of God, that's greater than even the, the iffy circumstances that we find ourselves in, you know? You're right, man. We'll wrap things up, but before we uh, we wrap up today, how, how can we pray for you guys? Man, you you always ask that, brother. Man, and I'm telling you that that actually means the world to me, um, because I know the the power of prayer. Um, man, just just pray that we would just walk with the Lord, man. You know, just that's that's really it. Our eyes are so easily shifted on other things, and our and we get so affected by what we're looking at. But the truth is, Jesus is, is hope. Jesus is life. And just that you just pray that we would just have the grace to just stay on our knees. You know what I mean? In front of him. That's it. Cause everything else flows from there. Awesome, man. Well, we love you guys and can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks and the, you know, these new, new experiences and always pray a blessing on you and your family and you know, we, we've known each other for many years. Your family, dude. I mean, that's that's it. That's Come on, man. That's right. That's right, bro. The man. Johnny Woo, dude. That's it, man. That's right. <laughs> awesome, dude. Appreciate you. We'll see you soon, my friend. Awesome, man. Love you, bro. Talk to you later. Big Daddy Weave, man. He, he's yeah. all excited about the big drive-in theater tour coming up. Dude, this is going to be so fun. We're um, I love those guys, man. Like, they were the, one of the first bands to take me out on tour after I became an artist, and Honestly, spent we spent close to 60 days on a bus together hanging out, and I just got to know those guys, and we all kind of cut from the same cloth. You know, I, I was born in Pensacola, and they all live down in that area, and um, yeah, good guys. We we joke all the time because uh, I remember uh, sending a sending a runner out a couple times when I was first on that tour to get me junk food for the bus, and it was like Easy Cheese and Club Crackers and pork <laughs> those zaps potato chips and junk and Jay was like all right you're my man he was like we can so he would bring me sackfuls of junk food to put on the bus whenever he would come in to the bus calls and stuff like that so it was fun that's cool that's cool now you recently just did a live stream event you know is that is that kind of you know getting used to performing again with like the live band have you, have you done was that your first like big thing since the since the covid the first time we done production you know the, we've done a couple of small little acoustic sets that you know you know made a few songs at and just recorded to to kind of use for for different things but this is the first one we've actually we you know did full production with our crew and and re rehearsal space and um you know just went went for it and actually sold a ticket for it. so it was it was fun i mean it was awkward because you the only people there was was my wife and kids and a few of our friends in the neighborhood and, and the people that, you know, kind of run the place. So it was kind of awkward trying to talk like you were talking to a crowd of, you know, thousands of people that, you know, you know, are on the other side of it, but you can't see them or hear them. So yeah. yeah. Little, but I mean, if that's what we've got to do to get the music to people, then that's what we'll do. You know, exactly. this is all, so that's kind of like a, what pastors have to deal with, with the live stream every, every weekend. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, you know, I did a, I did a live stream. Uh, we did a live stream worship service when I worked at a church, but it's always the worship was live to our, you know, our congregation. But then the screen would come down and the pastor was a live feed from the sanctuary. So it, that was all right for me because I got to play music for people that were there. But yeah, I remember it was always weird to me watching the preacher on a big screen. <laughs> you know, not in there. But then, then you just get used to it. So. Yep. Exactly right. I, I, I love the story how the connection between you all and Big Daddy Weave, you know, you yeah. and their song Redeemed, and then you wrote the song Alive, and they recorded that. Man, there, there's that deep connection you were talking about with those yeah, guys. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's stuff that only, you know, only God can do those things. Like, uh, 
Yeah, it's just so weird. I never would have imagined, you know, being with these guys and, and writing music for these guys and, and touring and hanging out. You know, I remember hearing that song and just thinking what a powerful song it was. And, you know, for me, it was just so instrumental in my, you know, my turnaround, you know, and my come back to faith that um, I never thought I would be, you know, touring with them and playing music with them, but it's, it's going to be fun. We've got some, uh, we've got some really cool uh, stuff planned for this drive-in tour um, that we're going to do together. So I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. And speaking of drive-in theater. Okay. When, when was the last time you were at a drive-in theater? <laughs> I'll be honest. I've never been to a drive-in. Really? Uh, never. Now the hometown I grew up in, they had, they had one that I remember seeing as a kid that had been, you know, closed probably since the mid seventies that, but my dad used to talk about, they would always go to it. And I was like, man, I've never, I've never been to one. I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen them in different, you know, some of these old places that we've toured through and seen them out in the big fields. And, uh, but I've never, never been to one. So this is, this is going to be a first for me. That's why I was wondering, okay, drive-in theater food, you know, like you were saying, it's got the chips and the greasy stuff and, and all that. And I, I know you like creating recipes and yeah. you're a food guy. If you were going to create something for a drive-in theater, what would it be called and what would it be made of? <laughs> oh <my> gosh. A <laughs> drive-in theater. <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about that. Um, you know, we do this uh, – we do this eat and greet thing before my tour, uh, before my shows on my tour. And I've got this uh, kitchen truck that I drive out and uh, a chef that comes with me. And we had, we had literally talked about, I wish we could have figured out a way to sell like almost like a upscale picnic basket for yeah. you know, driving yeah. with this, you know, really nice charcuterie, you know, board with all these good meats and cheeses and stuff in it. But I don't think we had the time to kind of think it out and put it together. And it was just, it was just too much, you know, this is a, this is a pretty, we're kind of going back to our old school days of touring on this from what I hear. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, it would be either, either be that or, you know, something deep fried <laughs> carnival thing, but uh, I don't know. You put me on the spot. I can't think of it. <laughs> First thing that comes to mind, see, I was thinking deep fried too, like, you know, deep fried, I don't know, cheese or something like that. I, who knows? Yeah. I guess I could get some easy cheese and <laughs> and, and own something and deep fry that. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I know um, this is, you know, brand new. I'm, I'm grateful that, that you're going to be a part of the drive-in theater tour coming to uh, Kings Mountain, North Carolina. That's in our listening area. Hounds are driving. That just sounds like a drive-in, doesn't it? Hounds driving. That does. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, September 11th. Um, before we wrap up, man, how, how can we pray for you? How can our listeners pray for you? I know, you know, there's um, so much going on in, in our world, but, you know, for the for the next moment or so, man, just feel free to let us know what's up. You can just pray that this, I mean, and I'm sure people already are, but just pray that we get back to, to some normalcy in our country, you know. And, and I guess for us, this is a, you know, we've not toured since uh, Thanksgiving of last year. We've been off. We've been off the road other than six or seven shows since Thanksgiving of last year. And so we're leaving out on this drive in and I think we're going to be gone for 13 days when we first take off, which is, you know, for a bunch of guys that haven't done that in almost, you know, a year, um, that's a long time to be away from our wives and kids who have gotten really used to us being home. So you could just pray for our families and, you know, pray for uh, just strength and health for us on the road to get back out and do what we love and, uh, see the fans and so um yeah man just just keep us in your prayers we'll do that man well we're looking forward to a couple of weeks seeing you in uh kings mountain north carolina the drive-in theater tour with big daddy weave and man maybe they'll have uh um uh, they'll have some drive-in eats there maybe some yeah, easy cheese <laughs> I'll be down with that. 